Today we're going to be going over 10 beast mode fragrances that are so strong a small bottle is all you realistically need. So you'll notice for some of these I do have the smaller bottle. For others of them I have the full size 100 mil, 125, 120, whatever it is. Now when it comes down to it, one of the main things that you do want to look at is the size of your collection. And so if you have a ton of fragrances, a lot of times you can generally just get away with picking up the smaller bottle size anyway, because the likelihood of you actually running through that whole bottle is going to be lower, or at least it's going to take you a longer time to do it. And that time spread out over a period of years may not necessarily be worth spending the extra money up front to buy the bigger bottle, even though technically if you are burning through fragrances, the bigger bottle is cheaper in the long run. But another thing that does play into that factor, even if you have a smaller collection, is the performance. For some of these, a lot of these, in fact all of these, they're so strong that you don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. It's a very famous saying and it applies to these 10. So at the end of the day, it's going to be up for you to make the decision yourself, depending on a variety of factors. Every single person's situation is different. But I'm just saying, if you find a good deal on the smaller bottle and you've been wanting to pick it up, you can go for it with these 10 because they're so strong to begin with. And I will drop links to these down below to discounters, which will make it a bit more affordable for you in general. And um, if you want to get the best deals in the fragrance game, hands down, you can hit the first link down below, hop on my mailing list, send a text to the number down below as well. You will be signed up and ready to go. All right, I want to get it kicked off with Dior Sauvage Elixir. So uh, this is the 60 ml bottle, which is now the small bottle. They came out with 100s, but when this was first launched, it was only available in a 60 ml. So uh, kind of an interesting one there. I don't know if they were pressured to put out a bigger bottle. Maybe uh, people were saying, hey, we want a 100 ml. Or I don't know if they had intentions on doing that all along. I'm not really sure. So obviously I had no choice but to buy the 60. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, this is plenty. Has a ton of warm spices. Licorice, cinnamon. Um, there's a lot of nutmeg in here as well. There's a good dose of a nice creamy sandalwood. It's woody. It's masculine. It's sweet but not in a bubblegummy juvenile way. It's different type of sweetness. Uh, this is a very classy scent. It's quite the opposite of any other Sauvage that you've smelled before. And it is one of the strongest Sauvage flankers, if not the strongest one. And just in general, it is probably one of the stronger designer fragrances across the entire uh, span of my collection, personally, which is saying something. I guess another one that I could think of really quickly that would rival this from the same brand, Dior Homme Parfum. So yeah, this stuff is so strong, it's not affordable either. Um, at retail, this is uh, 180, 170 ish uh, for 60 ml. I know it'll hit discounters sometimes for anywhere from 160 to as low as 140 I've seen. And um, the 100 ml at retail is up over 200 and some. So um, you can just get away with getting the smaller bottle because it is so strong. A couple sprays is all you need. Next up, we'll go with Terre d'Hermes Parfum version here. So they have quite a few flankers now in their lineup. This is one of my personal favorites. It's got orange, oak moss, and woods in here. Still maintains that earthiness. You still get that signature Terre d'Hermes orange in here. The oak moss is really pumping up that masculine edge as well, kind of giving it a bit of a green facet. Um, it's a true parfum concentration, and it behaves as such. This stuff is incredibly strong. And as you can tell here, I do have the smaller bottle in this case. It's a uh, 50 ml, and uh, or actually, no, sorry, it's a 75, 2.5, 75 ml bottle, which is more than enough. I don't know if it's available in a 50. I doubt it. It's probably this and then a 125, and I think I've seen this in the giant 200s. I swear I have, which is mind-blowing to me, but some people probably do wear this as their signature scent, and that might make sense. But for general use every now and then, this is more than enough. Very strong stuff, and it's another one that is very mature, very classy. Next up, we'll go with Low Medial Extreme by Guerlain. It's all about the tobacco, the plum, and some of the almond in here. Very signature of this DNA. Uh, this is the 100 mil, no surprise, but they do have 50s, and um, sometimes those will be easier to get than the 100 mils. And again, depending on your use, you can get away with a 50 ml. This is generally gonna be a fall and wintertime scent. And if I had to choose between those two, I would put it more in the winter category. It's not that it won't work for fall, it absolutely will, 
but I have some other things that smell more like fall. They're more kind of tailored to the temp general fall temperatures, which is more kind of mid-range, not freezing yet. And so I think there are better options. And this kind of gets lumped into wintertime only for me. And so when you have something narrowed down to basically one season, one particular time of year, when it's really, really cold, and you don't need a ton of it either, you can get away with a smaller bottle if you so choose. Next up, we have the new kid on the block. We have Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum. It's 50 ml, yeah, that's all they had available. Uh, I probably would have sprung for the 90. I generally do with these, uh, but that wasn't an option at the time. Realistically, after getting this one in and checking it out, this is gonna be enough. Now, because I am who I am, I will would like to get a 90 just because they kind of match up and look better when you have them all stacked up next to each other. That's a completely dumb way to approach this and don't do that just for looks only, but I'm just kind of like that. And again, it's stupid. So I'm sure at some point you'll see a 90 ml bottle in my collection. Probably not anytime soon though, but at some point if one shows up for a good deal. Uh, this one is all about the leather, the resins, the cinnamon, the pink pepper, and um, all of that. Now, it's kind of taking the tobacco away and bumping up the resins and leather to give you a different type of smokiness. It's very, still very sweet, still very spicy, no surprise. But it's a unique take on this whole DNA, which I really respect, and it's very strong as well. Next up, we have Dior Ohm 2020. This one's got Isoe Super, Cashmere Wood, Cedar Wood, and Vetiver. It's all about the woods in this one. I mean, there's no shortage of it. There's a little bit of bergamot citrus in here, but that is not anything to focus on. Uh, this is a very versatile scent, and it definitely is, I guess, a the modern Dior Homme. I mean, legitimately, it's Dior Homme 2020. Um, you know, they're getting away from the iris, they're getting away from the sweetness, and they're just bringing us kind of what works now in 2020, and still today, you know, what really is kind of the trend, and that is just, very aromatic, over-the-top, woody scents that just have a ton of versatility across the board. Doesn't matter what season it is, you can wear this. And another great thing, because it's so heavy on the aroma chemicals, it has great performance. Now, full disclosure, this is a signature scent type of deal. You know, it's very worthy of that use. If you are going to be wearing it, get the big bottle. But if you're just going to wear it from time to time as a dumb reach scent, you can get a smaller bottle and be perfectly set. Next up, we have Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé. This is my little 60 here. And again, it wasn't my choice. It was all that was available at the time. This is one that I will for sure pick up a 100 ml bottle of at some point. It's popped up on discounters many times, but it always sells out quick. And I like to give you guys the opportunity to get it. So, you know, pops up below retail, send out an email, send out a text, and it's gone pretty quick. I just haven't taken the, the chance to buy one for myself yet. I mean, there's no reason to when I have plenty, but again, I want to make sure I have an abundance of this one in particular, because this is probably, if not for sure, my very favorite out of the entire Gentleman lineup. It is that good. It's got whiskey, it has chestnut. Of course you have iris in here. Of course you have tonka bean. It's beautiful. It's a nice, even more gourmand and rich take on this DNA. The booziness is a nice touch. I absolutely love every single thing about this. And it's also very strong. So again, in a situation or a, a collection where it's not gonna be getting a ton of skin time, small bottle of 60, that's perfect. I know for me though, I'm gonna be wearing it a ton and all of the cool seasons going forward, and so ultimately I will want to upgrade. Okay, next up we have Moogler's Angel Men. This one is so strong, it's a powerhouse, very unique as well. It's got caramel, coffee, and patchouli as just a handful, a sprinkle of the notes. I mean, if you look this one up, there are a ton of them, but that's kind of the, the main ones that I get. It's another gourmand style, it has kind of a tar smell to it. It's very unique, again, I wanna put emphasis on that because it's not gonna be something that you might expect by the notes and going into it. This one is truly a, a unique designer scent here. This is providing us with something different. It's been out forever now, nothing new by any means, but maybe if you're new to collecting and you haven't checked this one out yet, it is worth it. This is a 100 mil. They do uh, offer 50 mLs, and I think it's a great way to go because it is so strong and because it also might not be the most versatile thing, you might not get a ton of use out of it, and so saving a little bit of money there might not be a bad idea. Next up, we have Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans Le Parfum. So this is a 125. I want to make sure I get it right. And they also have 75s as well. Now, 
This one has um, lavender, there's some iris in here, there's some cardamom, and of course some vanilla. It's a really nice, well done flanker because they're kind of roping in some of that sweetness that you might get from Ultra Male, but it is toned back, giving us a nice creamy iris, which is kind of making it a little bit more modern. You know, it's getting on that trend. You get a really nice, warm spiciness from the cardamom, which really sets this one off and makes it super unique. And of course, you get the lavender, vanilla, aromatic, sweet combo that you get from the very original. So I think with all of that, it's a great release, it's a great flanker, and it's another one where, depending on usage, you can go for the smaller 75, which a 75 ml bottle is still a pretty healthy amount, and that'll get you pretty far down the road, especially because this one, as well, has great performance. Next up, we have Gucci Guilty Absolute. This is a 90. Um, they do come in a smaller size bottle as well. I think it's a 50, something like that. Uh, has leather, woods, and vetiver. This is the furthest thing from what I would consider mass pleasing. So, and most people know that to be fair, but I want to give you a warning. In terms of blind buy safeness, not so much. Please make sure you look into this one. Sample it first if you can, or you have to understand that in order to like this, you have to really be okay with super strong earthy vetiver scents to the very extreme. It's no joke. If you can get down with that, then this will be one that you can look into. But I've heard everything from it smelling like tires, like rubber compound, to band-aids and everything else in between. So, you know, just kind of be careful with that. But you can buy a small bottle and that will be too much probably for a lot of people. Very strong, very challenging, very unique. Yeah, one that you definitely don't need to go out and buy a huge bottle of. And last up for this one, we have Stronger With You Absolutely. This is a 100, but they are available in 50s as well. And sometimes testers will come up too, and you can even save a little bit of money there, but you know, I digress. This one's got chestnut, has rum, has lavender, has vanilla, tonka bean. So it's got that Stronger With You chestnut sweet DNA, kind of gourmand with a little bit of a boozy kick, which ultimately tones this one back and actually makes it a little bit more grown up smelling. Now, it's still very important to note that it's a stronger with you flanker, still has that playfulness going on, but they do kind of balance it out a little bit here, which is why this is my favorite one of the entire lineup. It's also one that's a little bit tougher to get sometimes. It's out of stock often here in the US and Canada. If you get on the link, uh, the lists down below, I promise you once it does show up, which it does relatively often, I'll send out a notification and you'll have no problem picking one up for right around the 105 to 110 mark, sometimes a little bit more, it just depends. But it's worth hunting down for the cooler months and uh, especially in fall and winter, this one really goes quick. So you really have to be on it. That's why I recommend trying to get this one in the off season as it pops up randomly here and there. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 fragrances, so strong, you only need the small bottle of realistically. Again, your situation is gonna vary, so make sure you think about that, but these are some options for you. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.